Sex education. Sex education. Sex education. The real controversy. I guess I'll never know what I missed on that first day of health class. Don't have sex, because you will get pregnant and die. Don't have sex in the missionary position. Don't have sex standing up. Just don't do it. Promise? Okay, everybody take some rubbers. It is often said that abstinence is the only form of birth control that is 100% effective. This is a way of life often taught in schools in the form of abstinence-only education. Please see a doctor. Girls, you have to. You need to get tested this week, again in six months, again in a year, two, three, four, and five. Who's to say the next time you decide to put this gun to your head, it doesn't go off? Who to say the strain of HPV you're carrying tonight won't kill you, but the one you get next year will? When are you going to begin to build integrity, discipline, trust? You could start tonight. Don't ever let anyone tell you that because you've had sex in the past means you have to keep doing it. You don't. I had a little girl in Alaska. She ran up to me. She goes, Pam, I am a recycled virgin. Think this is working? A new study says abstinence-only education programs don't work. So how would that possibly justify a $28 million increase in federal funding for these programs? A recent national study concluded that no evidence exists that abstinence programs delay the initiation of sex or reduce the number of sexual partners among teens. This comes on the heels of a long-awaited congressional report released in April that also found that teaching abstinence didn't decrease the likelihood that teens would have sex. about chastity, obedience. I believe we women were created to need the strength of the man and purity. We are too valuable to simply give ourselves away to young men who would not treat us with great respect. Choose before God to cover my daughter as her authority and protection in the area of purity. Where dads pledged to protect their girls' purity until marriage. Newsflash! 13% of teens in the United States have had sex by the age of 15. Here's a sobering statistic about teen pregnancy. It's on the rise for the first time in 15 years. I don't know, I just sketch. This is one doodle that can't be undid, Holmes Gillett. Seventeen girls at Gloucester High School not only got pregnant, but according to some, it was no accident. According to the superintendent, all the girls were 16 or younger. Most of the fathers weren't in high school, and at least one of them was a 24-year-old man. I think it's awful. They're kids having kids. Contrary to popular belief, there are other ways to have safe sex besides abstinence, and this is what we need to teach our kids. So if you're looking at something that you have to use on a daily basis or every time you have intercourse, you might consider something like condoms. Condoms you use every time you have intercourse. There are several different types of condoms. There are latex condoms. Um, some people do have allergies to condoms, and so there are non-latex condoms, polyurethane condoms, and the female condom, which is also a polyurethane condom. Those are great for people who are willing to use a protection method every time they have intercourse. They also are very helpful with protecting against STDs. Condoms are readily available in the basement of the student center, directly under Starbucks. These are free condoms, people. Go get them. on it. Now after your shirt is going to roll the correct way out, roll a condom on an erect penis. Don't unroll the whole thing and then try to put it on. It won't be easy and the condom is much more likely to tear. Remember to use a condom for oral, anal, and vaginal sex. And when you're finished, 
Hold on to the condom and carefully slide it off. What if it breaks or just happens? Plan B is emergency contraception. It can be taken up to 72 hours after unprotected sex. The sooner you take it, the better and the more effective it is at actually preventing pregnancy. It basically prevents the implantation of a fertilized egg in a woman's uterus. Plan B is available at Kentucky Health Clinic for $18 to $22. We can't change what you've already learned, but we can help you make an informed decision. If you would like to become actively involved, Voices for Planned Parenthood is a great route for you. It's a program to educate and mobilize college students in support of reproductive health and rights. At the University of Kentucky, students have access to Kentucky Health Clinic and the numerous services such as pregnancy and STD testing. We've given you all the tools needed to make an informed decision about your sex life, and now it's up to you to use these resources to protect yourself.